Hey, y'all. So before this WrestleMania 38 match card prediction start, I first want to say this video was recorded on a Monday morning. I know a lot has happened since then. Brock challenging Roman, Shane being let go by the WWE. I know a lot has happened since Monday to now. But just to let everybody know, this was recorded on a Monday. Just to just to tell you all. So yeah. But anyways, with that being said, on to the video. What's good, everyone? This is the kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video. And y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. I'm here to bring you all your WrestleMania 38 match card predictions. This is the first time that I've ever done a WrestleMania 38 match card prediction. WrestleMania is April 2nd, April 3rd, two night event, biggest show of the year, biggest WWE pay per view of the year. And what better way with WrestleMania? On the horizon, I thought, hey, might as well do a first on the channel and give you guys, you know, some of the matches I feel like are definitely, well, in my opinion, are going to take place at WrestleMania. Now, let me make a few disclaimers. Um, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, all right, like these are the matches for night one and these are the matches for night two. Um, the only time I'm going to really do that is when I'm talking about like the main events, um, mainly particularly the WWE title match main eventing or one of the uh, women's main eventing uh, night one. And then, of course, the Universal Championship main eventing night two. And, um, yeah, again, these are my predictions. I'm not saying any of these matches or all these matches are going to take place at the show. Again, these are my predictions. If you feel there's going to be some matches that I didn't talk about that are going to take place at Mania, well, put them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe and like for more content. We are on the road to 600 subs, so hitting that sub, but also hitting that like and commenting will be also much appreciated as well. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to it. Um, we're going to kick off with the first match. This is a dream match for the women. I think this could be a big-time WrestleMania matchup for both of these women. Sasha Banks versus Lita. Now, at first, it seemed like well, when we saw SmackDown, it seemed like they were building up Lita and Charlotte, but um, we all saw what happened at the Rumble, so I'm going to go with Sasha Banks and Lita. I think that would be a really good opponent for Sasha Banks, and I think that would be a really good moment for Lita, like to hang up her boots, have one last match in the company, kind of like with Trish Stratus, because we all saw Trish's last match in the company was against Charlotte, so I think Having Lita put over Sasha Banks, I think that would be a huge moment for Sasha Banks. And Lita can still go. Like, we've we seen in the Rumble, the girl can still go, like Trish. So, I think Lita and Sasha would be a really good matchup and just a really good, like, passing of the torch from Lita to Sasha Banks. And Plus, you know, you got to get Sasha Banks in the card and, you know... With Bailey injured, I don't really see her coming back till after Mania. Same with Asuka or, like, what do you do with Sasha? You know, you putting her in a meaningless, you know, women's memorial battle royale, like, that's kind of lame in my opinion. Like, Sasha's, you know, I th feels like deserves much more than that. So, yeah, put her in a match with um, Lena. I think that'd be cool. Okay, so next, we have the... Intercontinental title triple threat match. Shinsuke is going to be defending his title against Cesaro and Ricochet. We all know what Cesaro is about. Cesaro, the Swiss Superman. Uh, you know, you guys have been complaining that this guy should be in the main event for years, but I think this could be a really good, you know, moment for him and even Ricochet. We all know Ricochet. And in my opinion, I think Ricochet is one of, if not the best high flyer in the world today i mean the guy is just athletic he, he flies around the ring like he's a dang superhero but um i think this would be a great triple threat match for the intercontinental title you give these guys i would say maybe good 10 15 minutes at best and they'll go no pun intended all out so definitely that'll be a great uh intercontinental title match so shinsuke cesaro and ricochet for the intercontinental title uh triple threat match all right next we got the smackdown titles player and i think how you need to do this um either this match um or maybe you if you want you could do the raw tag team match but probably this match uh, i could see them doing a multi tag team title match ladder match because it's wrestlemania and uh who loves ladder matches at wrestlemania so 
I think you do the SmackDown titles, you know, the Usos defended the Viking Raiders, the New Day, um, you know, pretty much all the tag teams that you have on SmackDown. Um, Los Lodores, I, I think that'd be a really good tag team and a match and a really good way to feature all the tag teams, you know, get them on WrestleMania. So I think that could be really cool as well. SmackDown multi-man uh, tag team ladder match at a WrestleMania player. Uh, book it, book it, Vince is what they usually say. All right, next we got Shane McMahon versus Austin Theory. I know a lot of you don't like Shane McMahon. I know. I know a lot of you are sick and tired of seeing Shane McMahon, um, but, you know, I don't know if you guys heard the rumors, but Shane McMahon, it's being reported that he is, like, going to be involved in the next two pit views Elimination Chamber at WrestleMania. And, honestly, they should have set up, like, something with Shane and Austin at the Rumble. Like, you could have maybe Shane eliminate Austin or Austin eliminate Shane. And it, it, it's just a good story. You know, Shane being the prodigal son, the Ill, 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 illegitimate son of Vince McMahon, not Hornswoggle, um, but, you know, Shane coming back, and then, of course, we all know how Vince treats Austin like he's his pet, like he's his own son, so I think that'd be a really good match, and a really good way for Austin there to go over, because I was thinking if, you know, they couldn't get Shane, or if they could get, like, John Cena, but John's doing movies and everything, I was thinking maybe you could do Theory versus Cena, like, that'd be another great match, uh, Cena would have no problem putting over Theory, but, you know, like I said, Cena's off doing movies and junk, so, you know, he, he don't got time for WrestleMania, unfortunately, but you still do Shane and Theory, I think that could be a good way to get Theory over, because Theory, Theory could be a big star, he, he has potential, uh, I know a lot of people are like, oh, this whole Vince McMahon thing is, you know, weird, but I think, I think you got something with Theory, like, really, okay, so we got the U.S. title, Finn Balor versus Damian Priest. I think this would be a really good match. Um, you know, Finn Balor, you know, winning the U.S. title. I don't think he's never won the U.S. title before, so this would be a really cool moment for him. And I think it'll, I think Finn Balor could be a great, you know, person to take the title off of Damian Priest. You know, Damian Priest had a great run so far. Highly, I think he should walk into WrestleMania. Uh, Mr. Champ, well-deserved, so... Yeah, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, that should be a really good match for the U.S. title. Next, we have another big dream match. Y'all, this is another big dream match that's years in the making. Edge versus AJ Styles. I was hoping maybe if Edge was in the Rumble match, which he wasn't, you could set up him and AJ. But um, they didn't, which is okay, I guess. Would For me, I would have preferred they would start Rumble, but... You could still have time to book Edge and AJ. Because, like, what are you going to do with AJ for WrestleMania? And I don't think they really have that many plans for him. Again, like, why well, put AJ in a meaningless, you know, Andre the Giant Battle Royale? No offense to Andre, but, you know, it's kind of meaningless. You know, put him in the ring with Edge. And Edge, I mean, what really there you could do with Edge? I mean, outside of maybe putting him in a title match, I think him and AJ is the match to go at WrestleMania. And, Tell me you don't want to see Edge um, and Styles at WrestleMania. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that will be a pretty good WrestleMania match, and I can definitely see that happening at WrestleMania. Next, we have the RKO exploding. Not, not the Mega Powers exploding. RK Bro fully explodes. Riddle versus Randy Orton. I can definitely see this match uh, taking place at WrestleMania. You know, they they're obviously they might start playing the seeds now, and who knows? Maybe Riddle could be the one to turn on Orton, or Orton obviously can be the one who turns on Riddle. So um, I'm gonna go with Riddle and Orton. This could be I can definitely see this match taking place at WrestleMania 38. Um, definitely put Riddle over because again Orton has no problem putting over the young talent. So definitely, definitely would be a good moment for Riddle, and it would be a pretty good match to see. All right, kind of with the SmackDown Tag Team titles play, we got the Raw Tag Team titles. This is going to be, uh, I'm going to make this a triple threat tag team match, though. Um, you know, you, you got Ray and Dominic taking on Kevin Owens um, and, you know, Seth Rollins and Alpha Academy. You know what I mean? So I think that would be a pretty good match, you know. Um, especially for KO and Rollins to win the titles. KO and Rollins are really good as a team, so I think that'd be a really cool match, and I can definitely see them doing that match um, at WrestleMania. So, um, yeah. 
Next, I think it's probably going to be the main event of night one, Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. It's pretty much already been reported um, that Charlotte is going to fight Rousey at WrestleMania. So there's really no way I can do about this. And obviously, this is going to main event night one unless they put the WWE title in. But um, Charlotte versus Rousey is, I mean, I know some are saying Becky and, you know, Belle, you know, Becky and Rousey, but hey, you know, Becky's got her own thing. You can still do Becky and Rousey down in the future if you want. But for now, it's going to be Charlotte and Rousey, and Rousey's most likely going to take that title off Charlotte. That's a match that's definitely going to happen at WrestleMania. Next, you have, speaking of Becky Lynch, Becky versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title. The story sets itself, you know, Becky defeating Bianca Belair in, you know, 26 seconds at, um, you know, SummerSlam making a return, and maybe we're saying that Bianca was buried, and oh, they they buried Bianca, they wasted her, they 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 ruined her run. You know, this would be a great way for Bianca Belair to get that redemption arc, to get that redemption story. To hey, you beat me at SummerSlam, you beat me at my lowest, you beat me when I wasn't ready, but now I'm ready. Now I'm 100% ready to go, Becky. I'm coming for you, and I'm taking that Raw Women's title from your brother. So. I know that was a terrible Hulk Hogan impression. I'm sorry, guys. But all jokes aside, Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch, that's a match you do at, at WrestleMania. Like that's, that's a WrestleMania match right there, player. Next, we have the WWE Championship. Now, this is a little, this is a little interesting, I guess you could say, because um, uh, reportedly WWE doesn't have any plans for the WWE title. So we really don't know what they're going to do with the WWE Championship. So... If you want to give my prediction, I'm I'm gonna go with Lashley and Big E for the WWE title. I mean, there really isn't no one else on Raw that I can see Lashley defending the title against. You know, you do an Elimination Chamber number one contenders match, maybe have Big E win that, and that sets up him and Lashley. Even though we've seen Big E and Lashley, I just don't know, man. Um, but that's really it for that. And now the Universal title now this is gonna be this is also interesting this now this could definitely main event wrestlemania night two and um i do not think and it probably really shouldn't be roman and brock and i'll explain why you know roman and brock we've seen that match up and it's to the point where you know what's gonna happen with roman and brock so Let's put Mr. Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns triple threat match for the Universal Championship. Now, that is a big match play. You got three big sweaty men going at it. I mean, it, it's it's a good moment. And I think that right there could be a good moment if you do want to take the tile off Roman then and there. You have Drew maybe beat and pin Brock without Roman, like, getting pinned. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if you want to do that. But then again, they're probably still going to do Brock and Roman at Mania. Um, and then Brock's going to probably win the title from Roman, which is like, ugh. Like, Brock doesn't need the universal title. He doesn't. You, Whoever Roman beats needs to be elevated as a star. But then again, there's no one else in the WWE that really seems believable to beating Roman Reigns, which is sad when you think about it. But, um... No, I think Drew and Brock and Roman is the match to make. Because if you do Roman and Brock, cause, and you looked at this WrestleMania card, what the heck do you do with Drew McIntyre? Like, and don't say, oh, well, he could be a part of the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. No, 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 no. That match is most likely going on a kickoff show. I don't want to see Drew McIntyre. He had a pointless filler feud with Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. Like, no, J Drew needs to be promoted to a way, 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 way bigger level, in my opinion. I think this could be a big, big level for him. And if you want to have Drew really get that moment in front of the fans, well, then you have him win the Universal title, triple threat match. That's a great match. Tell me you don't want to see a triple threat match than Roman versus Brock, okay? Like, again, we've seen Roman and Brock already. We know what's going to happen. We Like, we know the outcome, there's no point of seeing it like th th this is how you do it so yeah that is 
my WrestleMania 38 match card prediction. Like I said, guys, I'm not saying any of these matches because then again, WWE could pull a complete 180 inside. You know what? We're just going to redo the whole WrestleMania 38 um, pay-per-view event. We're not going to even put these matches down. We're not going to even do any of these matches. We're just going to do... We're just going to have WrestleMania 38 be in NXT or something like that. I don't know. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, apologize for making it too long. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, man, thank you. I really appreciate it, man. Um, this really nice putting this WrestleMania 38 match card prediction together. Uh, tell me what matches do you see happening at WrestleMania 38. If I didn't mention them, put them in the comment section below. And this Ben Kid DC Wrestling and so um yeah.